Welcome back. In this video, we are going to construct a non-deterministic pushdown automata for the palindrome problem. Uh, we already saw a deterministic pushdown automata for WCWR problem, and this is again a similar case like this. So here, uh, W is a palindrome, and it is made up of A and B combination. Whenever it is A and B to the power plus, it actually means the input contains at least a single A and B. And all the inputs that we consider are of palindrome. So when you consider an element as a palindrome, it actually means that the string and its reverse are same. When you consider this A B A, and the reverse of it, it is again A B A. So this is a palindrome string. So uh, our uh, data, the pushdown automaton that we are going to construct should accept these kind of input. So now again we are going to follow the procedure as in case of your uh, deterministic pushdown automata. So here uh, when you are, when you have a middle element like uh, when you consider an input like um, a b b b b a. So uh, we are going to split the input into two halves. Then this half we can push the element into stack. So till the middle element we are going to push the element into stack. And whenever the middle element arrives, the remaining will be the reverse of it. So that is the palindrome condition. So when you are pushing an element into the stack, what happens? The first element will goes at the bottom of it. So each and every element on the top of it. So the retrieval will be in the reverse order. So we can easily compare this with the reverse of it. And if they both are same, then we can cancel it off. So for this B, this B will be cancelled. Next B, next B. And this A, this A will be cancelled. So at the end of input, if the stack is empty, we are going to accept it. So we are going to follow the same procedure. We are going to have one state for pushing all the elements into stack. And once after the middle element is reached, we are going to have one more state transition. We are going to move, like once the middle element is reached, we are going to move from this state to, from Q0 to Q1. Another state where we are going to compare the input and the stack and we are going to cancel both. So here we need two states. I consider this as Q0 and Q1. Q0 is a state where we are going to push all the element into stack. And the basic uh, assumption we are going to consider over here is the stack is not always empty. We are going to consider the bottom element of stack is Z0. So the first step here is we are going to make this Z0 into the stack. So here in this Q0, without consuming any of the input, if stack contains nothing, we are going to push Z0 into stack. So this is the first step where we are going to put the Z0 into stack. So in the remaining phase, like uh, we may have an input that starts with either A or B. If the first element is either A or B, then we have to push that into stack. As per our rule, till the middle element, we are going to push all the element into stack. So each and every step of transition, what happened, whatever is the element in the stack that will be popped up. Okay, so first step is we have pushed Z0 into stack. Now stack contains Z0. For the second step of transition, this Z0 in the stack will be popped out. So this is a generalized rule. Always in case of a pushdown automata, whenever you want to do a transition, one element from the stack will be popped out. In case if there is no element in the stack, then you can use it as an epsilon. Okay, so here now we have Z0. So that Z0 will be popped up. And the input that uh, the, the element that we take from the input might be either A or B. In both the cases, what we have to do till the middle element, we have to put the element into stack. So first we have to push the Z0, the element that is taken from the stack, taken out from the stack, back to the stack. And again, the input element should be placed inside it. It might be either A or B. So we have to write the transition as the input might be either A or B. In both the cases, we, in stack we have Z0, so we have to put A Z0 into stack or B Z0 into stack. Uh, for each and every step of transition, this element from the stack will be popped out, so we are going to replace the Z0 along with the input into the stack. So when the input is A, put A Z0, and the input is B, put B Z0 into stack. So this is your second step. And for the third step, so till the middle element, what we have to do, we have to put all the element into stack. Now the next step, what happened? Uh, here we have this AB as the topmost element of the stack. So 
for the step of transition as i told you this a or b will be popped out whatever is the element first element that is pushed into the stack that will be popped out and one element from the input will be taken that also it might be either a or b so for all possible combination we have to replace the element back into the stack and we have to replace them we have to place the element that is taken from the input too okay so here we have four possible combination that is input might be a and stack contains a or input might be a and stack contains b input might be b and stack contains a and input and stack contains bb so both the cases what we have to do we have to push the element that is taken from the stack back to the stack and we have to make this also inside so when the input and stack contains aa put aa into stack ab ba and bb okay so this is the next step of transition it is a comma a push aa into stack a comma b ab and b comma a it's ba and b comma b we have to put bb into the stack so this is in a self loop so all the elements will be pushed into the stack so till the middle element we are going to put all the element into stack so it might be any one combination might be aa or ab or ba or bb just remember one thing that all these we have to replace the element one element for each and every step of transition one element will be popped out from the stack so that has to be placed back okay so now this is a transition for q not and once after reaching the middle element i'll say how uh, this middle element is calculated in the next session till the middle element we are going to push all the element into stack and after reaching this middle element i'll just explain about the middle element category later after reaching this middle element then we have to compare each and every element of input with the stack if they are same we have to cancel both as i told you each and every step of transition one element will be popped out over here for the stack and we can take one element from the input if they are same we are going to cancel both so cancellation here is described as we are not going to put it back into the stack for example so this um, b will be removed for the transition now when you are not putting it back then the input the stack will look like this and the input will contain just ba alone for this b this b we can cancel it out so in this q1 we can have a self loop condition describing if the input and the stack element contain b we are not going to put anything in the stack and again if the input and the stack contains um, a you are not going to the element that is popped out will always remains popped out so this is a self loop condition and we have to uh, cancel all the elements accordingly and finally at the end of transition for this b this uh, b will be cancelled for this a this a will be cancelled off so at the end of input after crossing all the input if stack contains z not alone we can accept the input so that can be given as like either we can have an accepting state and we can accept the input as i told you like push down automata accepts two ways either uh, moving to final state or by emptying its stack it accepts the input so we can either have a transition as at the end of input if stack contains is it not we can just empty it so this is an acceptance or we can have a final state as q2 and at the end of input if stack contains z not alone we can move to this final state so there are two ways in which a infinite automata can be accepted so this is the category so this is half day half way done so uh, the as per the example consider like uh, till the middle element we are going to put all the element into stack and once after reaching the middle element we are going to compare the input and the stack if they are same we are going to pop it out and at the end of input if stack contains z not alone then we are going to final state so now we have to describe about this middle element what will be the middle element and how to process this middle element now consider an example like uh, this is a generalized case where it is given as a palindrome so there are two ways like if the input is of an odd length then this element has to be removed off okay this and this has to be compared and the middle element has to be removed off and in case if it is an even number like this if the length of this palindrome is even then we have to compare each and every element so there is like for this b this b has to be cancelled off so there are two possible transitions that need to be done over here and this is what like uh, that is the reason we call it as a non determinism like uh, here we don't know whether we reached middle element or not 
and again even if we reach middle element we don't know whether it, the string length is of odd or not so we have so much of possibility over here so that is the reason we call this as a non deterministic push to on automata so now um, we are going to consider this odd length category when the input is of odd length and when we reach the middle element this middle element has to be cancelled off so here in this tag we push all the element till we reach the middle element and once we have the middle element this need to be cancelled off but the stack will have the same elements whatever is there in the stack that will remain as it is we just cancel the middle element alone the reason is like the middle element doesn't have a pair for it okay and this a this a will be cancelled off okay so here again we have four possibility right uh, uh, we may have a in input and stack contains a or a in uh, input and stack contains b or b in input stack contains a or b b category in all the category what we are going to do like for each and every step of transition i told you one element from the stack will be removed off okay so here whatever element is removed from the stack will be placed back and this b will be eliminated okay so we are going to place the element that we have taken from the stack alone over here and the input will be cancelled off you are not going to do any process with the input one last thing that we do is we have placed the element that we have taken from the stack back the reason is this element from the stack has to be compared with the remaining elements okay so this is a case of odd length what happen if the input contains an even length thing like this a b b a in this case like the middle element we have we don't have a single middle element we have this pair as a middle element okay it might be either bb or aa so here when we reach the middle element we have to cancel this middle element over here so the cancellation step starts from this place itself so whenever it is an even number the middle element is always a pair it might be either aa or bb in both the cases we are going to cancel it okay for this a this a will be cancelled for this b this b will be cancelled so we don't push anything into a stack this is a case for an even length palindrome and there is one more uh, extra category here the input is made up of a and b plus so either a or b will be there in the input what happen if you have a single a or a single b again either a single a or a single b then it is also a palindrome condition right a string and its reverse so on or same okay so for the single element we can have the transition as a comma z not we can have the transition as z not or b comma z not as z not okay when you have only one element in the uh, input when you have only one element in the input then we are going to for this a this um, like we just leave this a alone okay the stack will contain z z not alone and this is of odd length right similar condition like this whatever is there in the stack that will be placed placed back and here at the end of input stack contains z not alone so we accept the input okay so now this is your non deterministic push to on automata in order to explain it better i'll take a example and explain how it works now consider the input as a b a and the transition always starts from the starting state that is q not and stack contains epsilon as the first step i told you when there is uh, nothing in the stack we have to push this z not into stack so the input will remain as it is and we just push this z not into stack now this is a first step where in q not we have a and z not possibility okay so when input contains a and stack contains z not there is one possible transition that stays in q not itself assuming that we haven't reached the middle element we put it back and one step of transition we can move from q0 to q1 thinking that there is only one element in the input and that is the first uh, the element that we have to cancel off so there are two possible transition one step we stay in q0 itself and we assume that we haven't reached the middle element so we put this a into stack so input will be ba and we have a z0 over here and here is a place where we assume that like we have reached the middle element and that and that uh, a is the only element in the input so we go to the state 1 and we cancel this a so we have the input b a and z not in this stack okay so now what happen like in q1 we have to have both the input uh, and the stack element to be same but here it is different so that this 
path cannot be proceeded. So we consider only this path and we proceed for the next step. Now again in Q0, we have a B in input and stack contains A. So we have to check for all possible transition, transitions over here. So input contains B and stack contains A. So this is one possible transition assuming that we haven't reached the middle element and we have to put it back. Uh, sorry, push this B into stack and we have one more transition over here where uh, it actually assumes that we reach the middle element and the middle element, uh, the transition is of odd length. The input is of odd length and we have to uh, cancel this B. Okay, so in, whenever it is an odd length, the middle element will be neglected. Okay, so even length category will not be satisfied. The reason is the input and the stack are different. The input element and the stack are different. So here we have two possible transitions. One assumes that we haven't reached the middle element and we stay in the state Q0 itself. And here um, we put this B into stack. So we have B A Z0 in this place. And what happened here? This actually assumes that we reach the middle element and whenever we reach the middle element, we have a state change. And this is of odd length. So we have to cancel this B. So stack contains, sorry, input, remaining input is A and stack contains A Z0. Okay, so when you consider this branch, what happened in Q1 when the input and the stack contain same element, we can cancel both. So all the inputs are cancelled off here and uh, stack contains Z0 alone. So this is your accepting category. category. See in uh, Q1, when all the inputs are cancelled off and stack contains Z0 alone, we are going to accept it. Okay, so here we can have the transition as we are moving to the final state by emptying its stack. Okay, so this exists in both the way. Like at the end of input, we are in final state and again the stack is also empty. So uh, like a non-deterministic push-down automata is like it works in branches. If any one branch goes to accepting state, the input is accepted. Similarly, you have to proceed for this too. But only one branch will go to accepting state and this is the branch that goes to accepting state. So this is your non-deterministic push-down automata. We cannot solve the problem using a deterministic push-down automata. This particular correspond, uh, uh, determinist palindrome problem, we cannot solve it using a non-deterministic, uh, sorry, deterministic push-down automata. So we say that a non-deterministic push-down automata is more powerful than a deterministic push-down automata. Thank you.